Oh, hi, and welcome to October the 26th. Can you believe that nearly 10 months has gone already of this year? There's an old pop song that says, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It wasn't quite like that for this blind man that Jesus healed in Mark chapter 8. Um, but it was a little bit like that, but more like that for the disciples, maybe. Before we read the passage, let's pray. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, as we read your word, may we hear you speaking. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in you, our Father God. Lord Jesus, our Saviour. Holy Spirit, our friend. Holy, holy, holy God. As we read your word, may we hear your voice. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As we read your word, may you find us listening. Amen. So I'm going to read from Mark's Gospel, Mark chapter 8, verse 22. And we're reading the New International Version. They came to Bethsaida. And some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he'd spat on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus said, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hand on the man's eyes. Then the man's eyes were opened, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home, saying, don't even go into the village. There's an old saying up north, there are none so blind as them as can't see. In the verses just before this passage, Jesus has chided the disciples about the feeding of the 4,000, and he says, can't you see? And um, aren't you listening? In other words, there's something the disciples should be understanding, but they're not getting it. Here we see the crowd bringing this blind man to Jesus in the town of Bethsaida, and they're begging him to, to heal him. Jesus beautifully takes the blind man by the hand, and giving him great dignity, leads him outside and away from the town, away from the crowds. And then he spits in his eyes and he touches them. The man can then just about see. He can see that people look like trees walking, which is quite an amusing uh, description of somebody who's got blurred vision. Jesus again touches him. And then it says, the man said, I can see everything clearly. At this point, Mark gives us a huge clue. Jesus has just chided the disciples for not seeing. Here's a man who can see everything clearly. And in the next verses, Jesus is going to ask the disciples who they say he is. In other words, when they see him, what do they think? Now, you're going to have to wait tomorrow for the big reveal on that one. But essentially, this is an enacted parable. This man can see everything clearly. Mark is trying to make a huge point. He's about to make a big reveal of who Jesus is. When we read the Psalms in Psalm 146, verse 8, we read these words. God is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. Then listen to this. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bound down. In other words, the psalmist said, it's God 
it's the Lord who makes blind people see. And Mark is hanging the question mark over this. Disciples, can't you see? Disciples, aren't you listening? Disciples, watch me act. Because God acts to heal blind people. Disciples, you, me, what do we see of Jesus? Isaiah goes on to say these words. Isaiah 35, verse 5. When God comes, then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. The lame will leap like a deer and the moot, moot tongue shout for joy. Mark is making a massive point before his big reveal. Can you hear? Can you see? Can you see everything clearly? Can you see who Jesus is? He is God come. God comes and makes deaf people hear. God comes and makes blind people see. God comes and the lame leap for joy. There's a great old Charles Wesley hymn where Wesley rejoices at this and he says, leap ye lame for joy when Jesus comes. Charles Wesley wrote it right in that great hymn. So this morning, stop. Are your eyes open? Can you hear? Can you see clearly? God has come. And he is Jesus. So stop. Rejoice in him. Look up and see who he is. God, the one who takes you by the hand and with great dignity lead you to a place where you can see him, know him, experience his love and worship him. Have a great day.